premature babies, we have to remember that they have a higher risk of jaundice due to the factors we discussed earlier. The treatment threshold should be based on the gestation. One useful reference for the preterm babies is the NICE UK charts where you get gestation specific guidelines and this is a link for that. If the baby has severe IUGR, I would suggest using a chart for a lower gestation age. In my unit, we follow uh, the if a baby is say uh, one kilo at uh, 30 weeks of gestation, the one kilo is average weight around 27, 28 weeks. In that case we follow a 27 or 28 week chart. As the baby becomes older by every week, we can progress with the chart as well. So if the jaundice continues and uh, baby is 10 days old, we can go on to one week older chart. If a very high level of jaundice, the lipid content in the TPN will need reducing to two grams per kilo per day till the jaundice starts to improve. However, there should be a transient response uh, and uh, we should remember that lipid is important for nutrition, so don't keep it low for a long time. Very aggressive phototherapy in the extreme low birth weight babies can be harmful and some studies have shown increased mortality, possibly due to increased risk of infection. And this could be related to the antioxidant effect of bilirubin, which could have a protective effect in the lower levels of jaundice. Uh, this is a screenshot of uh, the NICE phototherapy chart at 26 weeks gestation. So if you go to the link I had attached, you have the different uh, charts you can download. So you enter the gestation here and the chart will come appropriate. So you have both for phototherapy and 